again, if they let him get close enough to Chad, he's going to say, hey, we found these last night um, while we were making camp, and uh, we knew they had come from the north because there's a uh, a band of goblins. Hobgoblins? I can't remember. Um, I'm south. Bears. Um, so we knew that they came from the north, but, uh, we didn't know if we would find, uh, their owners. Uh, where are you guys from? And they kind of cautiously, uh, approach you, making sure that, you know, the Minotaur is still staying back. And, uh, they introduce themselves as, uh, Bertice, female, and Gravit, a uh, human. They're both look like they're, uh, in their early twenties, if you're a guest, humans. Um, they tell you that, uh, the horses got spooked, uh, the night before from the lightning and both of them got kicked from the horses as they took off and they thought their horses were lost, but, uh, they're on their way to Kront, uh, from okay. the town of, from the town of Jid. And, and I'll ask them, are you guys from a farm? Uh, and they'll both kind of look at each other and look back at you again. Uh, why do you ask? Uh, I want to make sure the the horses are yours. Make sure the horses are ours? Yes. I, mean, I, I thought kind of us whistling and they're coming to us kind of gave that away. What what farm are you from? Uh, we're from, well, and the girl speaking up at this point. So my, my father owns the Edermath Orchard just near Jid. Okay. Just... Just wanted to make sure that they belong to you. So, uh, you know isn't Jid Jid is where we're going? So why don't yeah. we ask her what's up going oh. on out there? Yeah, I would. I would. That's a great idea. Friends. They're not friends with me. They're jerks. Um. So yeah, I'll I'll uh I'll give them our business cards and brochures <laughs> and say, hey, hey, we're actually on our way to Jid. Can can we ask you some questions? I, the Minotaur is um. Will cause you no problems. I'm just walking in circles, pouting and muttering to myself. I want that trying to be nice, trying to get Arthur. They don't want me, and I fuck them. And they're still looking down at you, grown as you ask that question, and they they kind of look around. And says, "You guys have like a a tent or something where we can maybe sit and where we're not getting soaking wet." I don't know. Do we have a tent? <laughs> I'm assuming you guys have been camping in a tent every night. You have your your campsite. Okay. Um, I assume but, that. I've got a tent, but you're not using my tent. <laughs> <laughs> He's walking in circles, kicking the ground. Okay. And the guy, and the guy says, what, "Okay, what, what's he expecting? He's a freaking minotaur. Who's going to want to walk up to him and have a conversation?" It's okay. We'll leave him on guard duty, and uh, we'll go in the tent. Guard duty. Being I a Minotaur, the, I saved the damn horses. <laughs> These guys, I had to steal the rest of their apples while they're in there. Stupid assholes. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the fucking apples myself. See how they like that. I see how they like them apples. Yeah. So uh, on the way back, I'm gonna I'm gonna start chatting them up, and I I uh, asking them about. Uh, hey, we're uh, alien trackers, and we hear your. Uh, Townsfolk, townsfolk has been have been missing livestock lately. Can you tell me about that? Says, oh, yeah, there are few people complaining about their sheep. A couple of cows went missing, but you know, we live out in the middle of nowhere. What do you expect? You know? Yeah, yeah. Is it just is it wolves or something probably, more? Probably blaming on the minotaurs, assholes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, we we never even seen a minotaur in live. Before that, so it, yeah, it kind of freaked us out a little bit. But, uh, I don't know, could be wolves. Hell, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a. I don't run the orchard. I don't run the 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 farm. I don't run the horses, the cows, the sheep. I'm not okay. a shepherd. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Tell yep. me, don't I have a handle a horse, dumbass? Ah. <laughs> so uh, the um, the town. Uh, who runs the town there? Uh, it's a combination of what well, you really aren't from around here. So it's uh 
Hold uh shit. Making me look up stuff. Damn you. <laughs> the whole place is old shit. Sildar, uh, he and uh the other guy. <laughs> they kind of bicker back and forth by who runs it ever since uh Adeline just took off. Uh I don't know. It's I, I don't care anymore. I just I just wanted to get out. Lar? I'm sorry, what'd you say? Adelar is the other one. I just made that up. It's something like that. The the, the okay. person that left. <laughs> I'm trying if, to find the notes. <laughs> if it doesn't matter, then it doesn't matter. That's that's fine. Um okay. Can you tell me about that old manor that was uh used to be run by bandits? What's going on with that? Yeah, that uh that new outfit that uh running the place from from uh the rich the rich town master, which I can't find his freaking name. I want to say it's Harwin. Harwin? In Vandalin? In Vandalin, the guy's name is Harbin. Yes, thank you. I and only uh, know that because I'm doing a Vandalin differently <laughs> in a different in a in a different world. Uh yeah, I guess yeah, this is based on Fandolin. I changed it to Giad. So I can't find the name, so we'll go with that for now. As soon as I find it, I'll put it in chat. Okay. So yeah, Harp is the, the rich uh, landowner on lots of buildings. He yeah. and uh, Sildar Hallwinter, uh, the former adventurer, those two are kind of like the de facto uh, town council since the third person up and left a few days ago. And the rich guy has been renting, was renting that manor to uh, a new outfit in town that was... Uh, uh, part of Acquisitions Incorporated. Oh, okay. Well, you could see from our brochures that we're also from uh, Acquisitions Incorporated. So uh, that's actually where we're headed. Uh, can you tell me any more about those? That that outfit? The the outfit at the old manor? Yeah, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> they're not there anymore. I'm assuming that's where you're going. Yeah, What what happened to them? I don't know. There was a big fire. Somebody said they heard like fighting, but yeah, no one's going to go up there. I didn't go up there. Oh, okay. The See, we've not been. Town, to... Is the rest yeah, of town no. racist against minotaurs too? Uh, I mean, your, your minotaur guy is kind of salty, isn't he? He's, he's yes, he's definitely salty. He's uh, Mister on his shoulder, that's for sure. <laughs> Mr. Minotaur, sir, I we mean no offense, but you're a big freaking scary Minotaur. We don't see those around here very often, and usually we with the stories we've heard, you just want to eat our hearts and stuff. So I was smiling when I ran to you. Smiling. <laughs> I, it looked like you're hungry. Maybe there was some misunderstanding, so I'm sorry. Uh, okay, it went both ways. I apologize as well. I've never never seen or heard of a friendly minotaur before. Well, yeah, kind, of, you kind, of, kind of freaked me out a little. Maybe you should judge my appearance. Uh, you, you're you're absolutely right, Mister Minotaur, sir. All right, just, just don't, eat, don't eat my heart, okay? You're forgiven. <laughs> All right, but if you're going to Jihad, and this is the girl talking, just just don't tell my dad that you saw me, please. I'm just trying to get away. Ah, who's your dad? <laughs> well, I, I think you already saw the name of the orchard, right? Ah, understood. What's his first name, though? Just so I, I make sure that I ought to uh, spill the beans, as they say. Uh, his name is fill in the blank. Uh, oh, him. <clears throat> hold on, hold on. There's a handout for this. People in Gia. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, da, da. Edermath. Ah, the town master, Harbin, Harbin Wester. So I guess uh, that's the rich guy. Let me put him in chat before I forget. Harbin. Okay. Good thing this is Jihad Harbin because Fandelvin, Fandelar um, Harbin? 
is a dick. <laughs> uh, da, da, I'm still scrolling because there's a shit ton of people in there that have things. And the other guy is Sildar Hallwinter. That's the, the former adventurer. I actually spelled his name right. <clears throat> and of course, the people of Gia doesn't tell me the guy's freaking name. Uh, I'll make one up. Endar Eldermath. Or whatever I said his last name was. Endermath? Edermath? Edermath. I, yeah. Oh, Edder, I thought Edermath or something like that. <laughs> I e put it in the chat e up here. E D E R M A T H. Yeah, Edermath. For now, we'll call him Old Man Edermath. <laughs> uh, Bertice, B E R T I C E, that's the female you're talking to. That's her father. Take if people are talking because I've lost everybody again. Nope, we're I all here. We're all we're all pondering. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. while you're pondering, here's uh, uh, I'm gonna say that over the course of how long you've been to keep, you've had a couple conversations with people at the head office. Uh, one on B Viari, and after Omen gave you this job, Viari kind of shared this little tidbit of information that's straight out of the book. Well. Modified. Uh, this is from Viari, for those that know um, Acquisition Incorporated series. It says, Giad, Giad, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, comfortable summers, harsh winters, average snowfall, 49 inches per annum. Yeah, take that, Miss Brinbury. Give me a C plus in geography. Ha! What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Giad, great place, full of rustic charm. Primary industries include. Gods, I, I don't know. Rocks, sheep. Oh, and a couple of very private fest halls. I can tell you the number of times, dot, dot, dot. And he goes, wait, why are you writing this down? Did uh, did Omen send you? Well, I'm on my lunch break. Yes, I, I know what time it is. It's, it's 10 o'clock. Okay. Yes, I guess if you don't know Critical Role, then that did nothing for you. Yeah. I thought it was kind of comical. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any other questions for Bertice and the other person? <laughs> God, I suck. <laughs> <laughs> Bertice and Garavit, G-R-O-V-E-T. That's the male's wow. name. Okay. <clears throat> take care of, take better care of those horses. God, well, as long as we don't get more of these god for awful lightning storms, we should be okay. So, where are you headed then if you're just getting away? Now we're looking to make a start in Quant. Heard good thing. Hey, that's where you're from, per this brochure. Hey, when you get down the road, you're going to come to a roadblock with some goblins. Oh, tell shit. them, tell them. The Minotaur Splug said you get free pals. Minotaur Splug. Now how do I know they're going to believe me? Well, because there's not a lot of Minotaurs in the world named Splug. And if I let you get past alive, they're going to believe you. Uh, well, okay, but if I see a band of goblins, I'm probably going to try to avoid them all the same. You can tell them. You met the guy, and he's got Baphomet on his shield. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Bertice is like, Baphomet? Fuck, I thought, you, I thought you guys said he's okay. It's just a shield. Settle down. <laughs> okay, Mr. Minotaur, anything you say, sir? Calming down now. He's trying to help Broad out. God. And it's National Women's Day today, and you're acting like this. Gee. Um, when, when you guys get to Kront, there's a keep, uh, it's got a stupid name. That's right. I heard your brochure. 
<laughs> yes. Uh, you could stop in there if you need um, to refill your 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 food or whatever. Uh, there's great prices and uh, great you prices. Know, are you said <laughs> prices? Prices? Did you say prices? Like they're going to be buying this stuff? Right. Well, oh, I'm not okay. giving it away for free. <laughs> and uh, you know, if you if you need work, uh, we might be able to find you something. Oh, really? Okay, that's awful nice of you. All right. Yeah. All Anything right, else? then. <laughs> no, that's good. Okay. They start packing up, and, and uh, Gravit grabs the bag that had the apple. He's like, hey, where's all my apples? Give me the horse. He's all scared. of them? Yeah, they were scared. Jeez. You guys have anything for us to eat on the way? I had to make sure the apples were good. The goblins will will take care of you. (laughs) I'm sure they will. (laughs) They've got plenty of food. You want to recruit them while we're at it? Uh, We we already passed on them. They're not that great. Okay. All right. Well, goblins. (laughs) Good luck. Like I said, don't tell anybody you saw us. Understood. Safe travels. You too. They start making the way back down the road with their two draft horses. Butter's not going to like them. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't really feel like my problem anymore. <sighs> okay. Ready for breakfast? It's midday. But yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Second breakfast then. <laughs> Third breakfast. Well, with those apples you stole? Yeah. Anybody <laughs> else want an apple? You'll make some apple fritters. Yeah. Apple pancakes. All right. So where are we at? Another half, the another half day's travel and you get to ingest. Uh, you can sleep there for the night and there won't be a need for a roll for an encounter. Uh, I'll say it's roughly, you can find a place for five of you, five gold pieces for all of you uh, to spend the night in comfort. Dry even, comfort. Even the Minotaur? Yeah. Uh, you'll get a few looksy lose, but after you kind of calm everybody down, just like you do with these folks, yeah, you'll be able to find a place in there. And Jazz okay. is a little bit bigger town. Um, I want to point out they were calmed by my charm. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll even say to the point where you've been sleeping out in the rain for so long, uh, sleeping in a bed and in Jazz. Everyone gets uh, eight temporary hit points. All right. I was going to say fleas. (laughs) Slug already has those. He gives them to you guys for free. (laughs) Okay, so unless there's something you need to do, buy, sell, and then jast, you get a one-day journey to Geod. I'd like to purchase uh, some health potions if they're available. Don't forget we had uh, two, two, right? Yeah. Two. Yeah. We didn't actually give those out to anybody, but no. we do have two. Uh, but I have zero, so I would like to purchase what I, whatever I got my hands on in the jazz. <laughs> it's a pretty big gown, and there's enough for each of you could probably buy two health potions at a couple of different establishments if you want. Okay, I'll take two. How much are health potions again? I knew you were going to ask that, and I was just racking my brain. I can't remember if they were 50 or 100 normally. One second, let me look. Because this is not water deep. Uh, let see. Normal healing potions are common. So those will be 50 go pieces. If you want a greater healing potion, uh, I'll say there are there's enough for one of each of you, and those sell for three hundred gold pieces each. I'll buy one, and if anybody doesn't want to buy it, I'll buy theirs. I don't need one. I actually have one. I don't have one. I'll buy one. It's three hundred for a greater healing, and how much for a regular healing? Fifty. All right. And what is the greater? Roll wise, uh, if you click on your token, 
And the token action, I think it's 44 plus 4, as I recall. Remember, you can always click on your token, then there'll be a, a, oh, a, a shortcut for you as a token action to roll it. So how, how, there's five available. Five greater. Yeah. And there's and 10 normal Hel available. Helmet wants one, and I want one. Does Bryn or Varda or Gralnar buying them? Gralnar does not need one. He he okay. makes his own. I'd like to buy Gralnars. So I have two, and that's good for me. I tend to need them. So. Yeah. Woo! Because you're foolhardy, it's just because you need them. <laughs> it's, I like them. I like the yeah. taste. Yeah, exactly. I don't need them. I want them. <laughs> Need would be like I had an addiction or something, or made bad choices. Yeah, you guys good? Boy Scouts make me prepared. Yep. Okay. All right. So that was your night. Uh, have your breakfast in the morning. Not gonna make you pay for that. You got a day's journey to Jid. Uh, Varda, you haven't rolled a random counter yet. So give me a d twenty. Uh, whisper or public? Uh, whisper it to me. All right. Okay, so you guys are in the land of Narfel. This is the land of barbarian. That's common knowledge to you guys. So there are lots of roaming tribes of barbarians all throughout this land. Not necessarily hostile, with the exception of one tribe. Uh, that tends to catch people and then sell them into slavery. So you guys will see uh, four blonde-haired uh, barbarians uh, riding up towards you on horses. Horses. What would you like to do with that? Where are we on the map again, Brian? Uh, right about you're about halfway between Injas and Jid. See where I'm pinging? Yeah, okay. Well, let me move the to party token, that would probably help, wouldn't it? Did the barbarians look familiar to anybody? Clothing style or anything like that? Uh, does anybody guy. here have a background in uh, let's see, what would this apply to? Of. How about a, anybody with a history check in this area to try to decipher what tribe they might be from? I'm My background is on just, history. Um, I'm a soldier that served as a patroller through the Great Dale, protecting travelers and merchants. Oh, through the Great Dale? Okay, you can roll yours with advantage then. That's history? Correct. All right. Okay, anybody else rolling? Going once, going twice. This has got to turn to violence because this is the longest really? we've gone ever without a fight. So, just saying. All right. I'm pretty good at history, too, actually. Well, I haven't seen your roll yet. Okay, to you? Correct. Okay. Uh, I'll say, Ryan, you're the first one to notice it, that these are barbarians from the Hearthgroth uh, clan. Let me put it in chat for you. Not those guys. Uh, that is pretty much the, wow, I did not spell that right. H-A-R-T-H-G-R-A-T-H. -H -H. I had an extra R in there. Hearthgroth. Hearthgroth. <laughs> Uh, they are pretty much like the um, largest and ruling barbarian tribe of all the tribes. Uh, probably the most, uh, well, the most formidable and probably the, the most uh, amicable. They don't really uh, turn to violence unless it's uh, put upon them first. So you shouldn't feel threatened by them unless you, you know, come across as somewhat threatening to them. 
I think we just step aside and let them go past. Step aside, salute and nod as they wave right by. And they actually stop as they come up to you guys. Hmm. Says, Who hears Growlar. the leader of your band? Gralnar will be there with his uh, secretariat bag, passing out brochures <laughs> and uh, business cards. <laughs> Don, I am absolutely loving this, that you're embracing this 100% wholeheartedly. All right. <laughs> I can't give you more inspiration cards, though. <laughs> there, it's an inexhaustible supply. All right. He, he called. Who, who here speaks for your group? Uh, I point at Gralnar and go, the guy with the business cards. Yep. <laughs> uh, dwarf friend, have you seen an ogre through these parts? A what? An ogre. No, we have not seen an ogre. We've lost the trail. Uh, Damn it. We we have come up from Kront. We stayed the night in Ingest, and, and we're here now. Just keep an eye out. We'll keep looking for it, but we just came from uh, uh, the plains north of Jid. There's sightings of a, an ogre in the area. Just trying to track him down and make sure that uh, he doesn't do anything nefarious. Ah, safe travels then, and happy hunting. It's to you as well. And he tosses you like a, 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 a rabbit that they've killed recently. Ah. Minotaur? Okay. You want that raw? <laughs> <laughs> and they will start well, to trot off towards the north, unless you guys are asking me anything else. I was going to ask if they wanted some help. Mm. I think we've got our own issues, but... Okay. We'll yeah. continue on, and if on our way back they're still looking, we'll get man on. Ogre. Okay, that's a good idea. Yeah. All right. Okay, so that's the last of the random encounters. So before I move from there, did all that suck, or did you guys enjoy that? Those I random sure encounters. I, I know. Sure I know you did, Gary. <laughs> I mean, everybody else. <laughs> it's pretty fun. It's like you know, you never knew what you're going to get, so it's kind of cool. Okay. I liked the fact we went this far without hitting anybody. I know. I'm surprised as well. <laughs> That's why I'm making sure that was so fun for everybody. <laughs> All right. So you guys start making your way into the town of Jid. Okay. So First uh, person we see, we got to kill. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see here. Arrival in Jid. Uh, after a harrowing, it says, and potentially lucrative journey, the characters arrive in Jid. Uh, this modest-sized town is comprised of some 50 buildings, most of which show signs of regular upkeep. Uh, farms and an apple orchard mark the outer edge of town, with houses and shops closer in. Uh, townsfolk are milling about in the central square and on the northern green Oh, milling about the central square and on the northern green just north of town. Two people stand on the stage of the green, addressing the crowd. Uh, but the distance to them, along with a steady chorus of cheers, boos, and shouts, obscures what exactly is being said. Uh, rising from a small hill overlooking the town to the north and east of town is an old manor house. Or at least it was an, an old manor house. Most of its walls have collapsed in what appears to be a recent disaster, with traces of smoke still rising from piles of tumbled stone. What would you guys like to do? Continue into town? See what's going on with the crowd? Go straight to the manor? I think we need to see what's going on with the crowd. Everyone in agreement? Yep. Okay. As you get closer within, uh, I guess, decent hearing distance of uh, the crowd up, you see there's two individuals up on the stage kind of addressing the crowd, uh, occasionally kind of shouting back and forth at each other. Uh, one individual sees you approach, and he points to you all. So you see? It's exactly what I mean. Just when things have to calm down and you get more murderous, vagrants show up, they probably have something to do with what's happened to Tresendar Manor. With the livestock started going missing, I tell you, it's only a matter of time before this all ends in misery and bloodshed. I promise you. And the other guy, uh, kind of long, uh, kind of a very, 
Uh, well, how do you pronounce like a Yosemite Sam like white mustache across his face? As to, uh, just calm down. He's always trying to work you guys up. I'm sure these guys have nothing to do with it. Just, uh, just everyone needs to stay calm. We'll find out what's going on. And just, just don't listen to Mister Blowhard over here. They gotta have a couple jabs back and forth with this. One accusing uh, mayhem and disorder all over the town. The other one saying, oh, more, everything's fine. We just need to calm down, blah, blah, blah. Would you guys like to interject or do anything with yeah. this? I want to run up on stage and go, ah! <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> well, Gronar is going to ask, is, does this, does this, uh, did this fire come about from the escaped ogre that the uh, barbarians are hunting? You, you shout that out up to the stage? Yeah. So, did, did, say it again. What, what was your question? Um, the uh, the tragedy that has befallen the town, is this the cause of the, because of the ogre that the barbarians are hunting? And then at the, at the word ogre, you hear lots of whispers and shouts throughout the crowd. Ogre? What? There's an ogre? Yeah, there's an ogre. <laughs> And then uh, the the guy with the big white beard just just no just calm down. Says, I was, Sir, we have no idea what caused the manor to burn down, destroy. I I doubt it was ogres. I mean, ogres aren't known for their affinity to fire and whatnot. One of, to, one of you need to ask if it was the Minotaur. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you out there. Uh, uh, yeah. Splug, the other one, the blowhards. Oh, look, they have a beast among them. Do not let them into this town. They're sure to bring woe upon us all. Oh, me? <laughs> Growlnar will say, Calm your tits, he carries our bags. Who, me? <laughs> it speaks, and with a, such a funny voice, too. Of course, he speaks, he has a name, too. <laughs> it's Splug the Mighty. A lot of people in the crowd start pointing and whispering at you, Splug. Not whispering at you, pointing at you and whispering amongst themselves. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> I have feelings too. I, I, and the big white beard or white mustache guy. Yes, I'm, I'm sure you do. It's just you're a little bit on the, uh, the odd side. Uh, can't say we've seen too many of your kind in our area, but I mean, no offense, sir. What? I'm taken. You seem like a decent human being, kind of grandfatherly. <laughs> he Do does chuckle. Daughter? Do you have a daughter? Uh, back to the town thing. Listen, folks, we just need to calm down. Everything will be fine. I'm sure what happened at the manors has nothing to be concerned about. I'll uh, I'll send for some uh, I'll send for some reinforcements, and we'll find out and get to the bottom of all this. The other guy that's all getting the crowd worked up kind of contradicts him and just keeps complaining about everything. Yeah. Anything else you guys want to do, say, observe? Can we, can we, um, I'll, I'll ask the, uh, the good white haired guy if we can discuss uh, the events. In the Friday. events. The and I'll point to the the uh, manor and kind of wave at the town. Okay. So uh, let's let's have that conversation in private. Let me just finish up with the crowd here, and I'll uh, I'll meet you back at uh, town hall. How's that sound? That works. Is the Minotaur going to be safe? Uh just I. Yeah, he kind of nods <laughs> and then shrugs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Still Town lots of people in the crowd pointing at the Minotaur and whispering amongst each other. <laughs> you know how cows do that thing where they kind of snort <laughs> and blow snot out? Blug accidentally does that and it just covers some little kid with with Minotaur boogers. He's ah, <laughs> nice. It's like, wow, nice. oh, mommy, look, I got, I got cow snot on me. Cool. He starts rubbing it all over himself. <laughs> <laughs> That'll give you superpowers. That's plus three to your AC. 
she starts smacking him in the back of the head and running him away from you. Yeah. She's smacking him in the back of the head, but it's sliding off because of the splug boogers. <laughs> kind of shakes her hand. Ugh. Disgusting. There's more of where that comes from, baby. <gasps> Indeed. Stomps off. Okay. So you guys are ahead. I turn to my group and go, I don't think she likes me. <laughs> <laughs> You guys going to head to uh, Town Hall then? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, back at Town Hall, actually both men, uh, the one that was harboring and called you vagrants or whatever it was, and the the big white-haired mustachio guy, uh, meet you there. The big white mustachio guy named Sildar introduced himself, and the other guy introduced himself as Harbin, and asked if uh, you guys are here to clean up the mess uh, that the previous tenants at the manor left. Uh, we might we're be. Really, we're really here to figure out what happened. You're here to figure out what? Figure out what happened. Well, I, and Sildar will tell you that he's the one that actually took up, got the nerve up after about a day to go up and see what happened. And he told you all he saw was just like, uh, just remnants of what used to be there. It's like the whole thing exploded in some kind of a weird experiment or a ginormous fireball. Not really sure, but there's nothing really left. Uh, He said he didn't venture into the actual rubble itself, but he did call out uh, and got no response. Uh, He didn't see any signs of uh, uh, a body anywhere. Like a meth lab in a trailer park. <laughs> <laughs> you got lots of zingers tonight, Don. That that was that was Gary. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um. I'm so, asking what he wants us to do about it. Like, like well, you're you're obviously uh. Well traveled. I see you're all well equipped. And uh, would you guys like to take a more thorough look uh, at the old manor to see if you can figure out what happened? Yeah. Kind of put the town at ease. But what other calamities have been facing that have the town been facing? Oh, that's a very good question. Let me refer to my notes here. Uh, let the. Uh... Oh, here's some more helpful advice from the uh, uh, Acquisition Incorporated team from Rosie B. Stinger. When scouting a base of operations, consider how many of the local businesses in your area could be strong-armed into submission. <laughs> or how many of the politicians could be replaced by a member of your own <laughs> implausibly large family. Rosie B. Stinger. <laughs> uh, I, could be, I could be the new mayor. Recent events in Gia. There we go. Hey, look at me. I got a good handout. Can answer some of these questions. Uh, they tell you that the Fellowship of the Golden Mongoose was the Acquisition Incorporated franchise previously uh, residing within the old manor. So that group arrived in town a few months ago. They spoke with Harbin Wester about acquiring the old ruined Tresendor Manor. Uh, since Harbin is still basically the rightful owner of it. So they worked up a contract, and and uh, Harbin has been renting it to them. Uh, let's see here. A number of days ago, I'll say three days ago, the townsfolk heard explosions from the manor. A few people reporting seeing gouts of flame, flame and hearing the commotion of a battle. No one was really keen to investigate, wanting to avoid trouble that the Fellowship of the Golden Mongoose had brought upon themselves. It says adventurers, right? Question mark. Uh, but after a few days passed, no one from the manor came into town. And that's when Sildar went, went on. To, Sildar Hallwinter braved the walk up the hill to investigate. Uh, I'll share with you what he found. Uh, uh, other than that, there's been uh, recent some of the Outskirt farms have had sheep, a few pigs, and a cow go missing. 
So that's uh, it's normally not that unheard of this time of the year, but the the frequency and the quantity uh, that's been happening is a little concerning. And they always get uh, uh, roaming wolves uh, in the area that will try to pick off one or two here, but uh, it's never been this bad before. That's all the really important. Oh, yeah, there's more. Uh, they just recently, uh, not that this is really important from a quest standpoint, but they just recently built a new temple to Joaquin here in the city. And you guys are welcome to partake in any of its services while you're here. Uh, feel free to donate what you feel appropriate. Uh, let's see, what else in the city? Uh, let's see. Oh, the uh, the missing, the uh, disappeared, or the one uh, council member that just took off. Uh, she used to kind of help run the the miners guild. Uh, they've had uh, an internal person kind of take that over here recently. I guess that's all the major news that's happened in this town. So any of those things you want to follow up on or what would you guys like to do next? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Missing missing sheep might be kind of interesting. Could be just a new shawarma restaurant. <laughs> You don't have shawarma down there? I've never had shawarma. Oh, shawarma is awesome. Nice and warm with a little butter on it. So you guys are looking for a shawarma restaurant? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, why don't we go investigate the actual building first and see if we can figure out what happened. Yeah. Um, I'll also mention the... Uh, the ogre and the, um, sorry, the, uh, yeah, the barbarians and the ogre. You're going to mention that you ran across the barbarians and the ogre? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll say Sildar says, yeah, they, they occasionally come into town just to look into trade or, you know, get themselves a, a few drinks before they head back out again. But they haven't mentioned anything to him about an ogre in the area. He says, uh, could that be what's behind the disappearing animals? Are there wolves? They haven't seen ogres in these parts in years. All right. Well, they've been known to eat the odd cow or sheep or pig, so. <laughs> Unlike us more refined minotaurs who have never been accused or never been proven to do anything like that. Uh, of course, good sir. Never would uh, accuse you of uh, such villainy. Exactly. Aren't, aren't Minotaurs uh, vegetarian by default? I think right. technically per Forgotten Realms lore, they are strictly meat eaters. <laughs> oh, because I mean, bovines are vegetarians pretty much. But yeah. okay. Bovines are, but minotaurs are traditionally uh, meat eaters. But if yeah. if Gra if uh, Splug I, wants to be a vegetarian, he can. I ain't no vegan. <laughs> no, no soy for this boy. Yeah, so what do you do here, guys? Let's go check right. out the house, the man. Yep. Concur. Okay. See if we can figure out the manner to which it was destroyed. <laughs> Gary is on a roll tonight, isn't he? Got all the dad jokes. Uh, uh, once a small, elegant estate, the ruined ruin building sits upon a hill overlooking Jid. Um... I'm trying to find the read aloud text before I just screw through here and scroll through here and read everything. I was going to do some puns about trees, but I was stumped. 
Uh, as you approach, you can see many of the crumbled walls of the manor show signs of having been recently rebuilt. But even that newer stonework has been toppled and smashed, coating everything in the area with a thick layer of dust. Uh, temporary structures seemingly set up to aid the reconstruction have been badly damaged by force and fire, though a couple wooden buildings still stand amid the destruction. That's what you see from as you approach the hill. So is it dust or soot? Uh, what did I say? You said dust, but is it? But there's fire damage, so is it? Like yeah, dirt, both. Or is it okay? A little of both. Like some of the strong structure has been like smashed and fallen, and that's what caused some of that uh, rock dust. If you want to speak, but there is obvious signs of fire damage as well. Is there any cadavers? Are you guys going to uh, enter the ruins? The rubble? I, I think I think Splug will. He's you know <laughs> he's got a pretty good schnoz. He's a good sniffer, so he'll yeah. be uh, he'll be in, he'll be looking around for some uh, cadavers. Okay. You guys letting Splug go on his own? Yeah. I think we'll go with him. Yeah, I'll follow him. Okay. Bryn, you're doing the usual, staying back 120 feet? Yep, maybe 300 feet, actually, about 120 <laughs> for now. <laughs> and Barda? Did we lose Wayne? Sorry, I was muted. Yeah, I'll, um, hmm. I'll move up behind the other guys and have my, uh, I guess, my hammer attack ready. You say behind the guys, like you're like, well, I mean, Brown, Sir Brownar and Splug are going first, right? That's what I heard. I heard Helmet as well, right? Okay. Uh, all right, fine. I'll be up with the boys. The four of okay. us will go in as a front. Okay. All right. And Gra Brownar will be checking everything out. Yeah. Okay. We've got our arms locked like um, Wizard of Oz, and I'm just going, eh, I'm the only one with a brain. All right, so the four of you in the rubble or, or stepping into it can yeah. give me either an Arcana... Or investigation, or a perception check. Your choice. Oh, perception. To you? To you? Yes, whisper them all to me. With advantage? Uh, why would it be advantage? Just because <laughs> I'm a nice guy? Uh, you, you've been rolling out the uh, one-liners tonight, but no, it's not advantage. <laughs> Arcana, and what were the other? Uh, Arcana, investigation, or perception. Any three of those. Okay. Or any one whisper, of those three. Whisper to you, just normal roll. Correct. Okay. Okay, I see three rolls. I think we're still missing one. There's four of you up there. Uh, I think, um, yeah, I'm missing yours, Ryan. I don't see yours. Three, that was Arcana, you said? Uh, Arcana, Investigation, or Perception, your choice. Okay. Uh, Gronar and Varda, as you start to kind of look around, um, you can hear uh, some kind of small little rodents in the central courtyard uh, of the manor before you can even see them. Uh, but as you turn the corner, you can see there are several like jackals, like sniffing around, digging in spots. Uh, they see you and then they kind of like uh, dart away. What did you call them? Jackals. Jackals. Like, little, like I guess jackals, like a little coyote. Okay. Kind of. Okay. Yep. Hmm. Well, that's an odd thing to have in the middle of a. Is there anything you doing that information? Is there anything to indicate where the damage started? Uh, that's going to require something other than a perception roll. That's where that arcana investigation would come Athletic, into play. Athletics, because you know, <laughs> that's what I'm really good at. Which I forgot to make an athletics arcana check. <laughs> yes. yes. I'm juggling three wizards. <laughs> 
Little ones, just little ones. So if anyone wants to take a go deeper into the the rubble, like where the jackals are sniffing around and stuff, where you have more signs of the the fire, you guys can give me an arcana or a uh, investigation check. Hey, uh, Brian, I just sent you something in the. I nope. didn't. I just meant to do it open, but it went to the GM chat. That Varda might do. Yep, I am reading it. Oh, oh, oh. And it's a wall of text. Yeah. It's basically 60 feet and sensing stuff, I guess. Okay. Uh, you don't sense anything. Nothing in that list of things. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. You guys want to go deeper into the uh, the rubble? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to check out where those uh, jackals were. We're looking to see if, uh, especially looking for a dead body. But I mean, obviously they were there for something. Okay. Yeah. Blood has got so, his nose in there too. All right, so someone was asking something about the fire or how what started or how, what the source yeah. was. That's going to be that's going to be an arcana or investigation check. If you're just still looking around, that's another perception roll. I, I can't figure out a way to make it an athletics. So <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> Can I persuade the building to tell me? <laughs> no. You don't think it's going to work? No. Uh, Gronar, as you step deeper into the rubble, uh, you kind of see out of the corner of your eye, oh, it looks like a couple Maybe. bones that might have been close to where those jackals were kind of rooting around. Okay, and I'm going to further check those. Um, see if they're a humanoid. You want to see if the bones are humanoid? Yeah. Okay, so you're going even, even further into the rubble. Yes. Okay. Are you guys letting Gronar just kind of go in there by himself, or are you guys all staying side by side? I'll, I'll stay with him. Okay. So I guess no one's going to do an Arcana um, investigation check, right? It'd be a waste of a roll for Varda. Okay. Yeah, All right. I'm a negative, so. Well, let's see. All right. I, oh, I've got a zero. I mean, there's no reason not to do it, right? If you fail, you take 48 points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, take that, I'll take that risk. No, there's really hey. no negatives other than you fail it, right? Hey, you took 59 points of damage the other night. Yeah, what could, yeah. What could go wrong? Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. To you? Yeah, whisper it. <laughs> Good to know. I didn't mean to laugh out loud. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should get a reroll. <laughs> now, can I try out my wand of revealing? Ooh. What is your, well, is, are you doing this before or after you approach the bones? Uh, before. Okay, what does your wand of revealing do? Um, Reveal I'll have stuff. to put it in the chat because I can't. Doesn't do. There's no action on. Oh, it's invisible or ethereal, though. Yeah. Yeah. Now, are you thinking maybe the spirit is hanging around the bones? <laughs> you know uh, what? You're you not a magic item. I just wanted to try it out. You're not <laughs> yeah. picking up anything, Gronar. Okay. Yeah, then I'll, I'll definitely get down there in the in the crap and, and try to... Uh, Root right. out the bones. Okay. As you approach the bones, I uh, catch out of the corner of numerous brown and gray jackals are kind of prowling around the uh, outside perimeter of the ruins. Um, you can actually see some of them along the perimeter have bones in their mouths. Uh, 
or sniffing around looking at you again and as you approach the bones that you saw uh the nearest jackal turns towards you and snarls he's like saying get away from my bones that's not gonna end well for head (laughs) (laughs) well I'll, i'll grab a bone out of the dirt and throw it for him you're gonna throw a bone to him so where are you grabbing a bone from? The pile that uh, Gronar is heading towards? Yep. Are yeah, they lo- Go ahead. What's your question there, Rob? I want to know if they're lovely bones. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but if you approached them, I think that's probably what the, they were growling about as uh, as Gronar was going toward them. So is that what you want to do, Helmet? Yeah. Okay, so as you... Reach out for the bones. One of the one of the little jackals jumps up towards you, and it's going to try to bite you. He's like, "No, that's my bones." Well, it'd help if I actually had a little jackal character sheet up here, right? Hold, please, while I pull up a jackal character sheet. Where's his bite? Oh, wow! Isn't that just awesome? The nineteen hit. Nineteen hits me. Okay, you're right next to me, right? Okay. Does a plus two help? Yep. Ooh. Did, did you cast a spell, sorry? Uh, do, oh, I... Here, I'll put it... I sent it to GM. Uh, if you can, can you guys see the screen or is it all black? With black. Okay. Let me drop your tokens in here. Mostly black. Okay. So let's put Keldar kind of right. Not Keldar. Keldar's not even here. What the hell, Brian? Varda is up in here. Pull up in this bitch. Splug is up in here. Helmet is up in here. Uh, Grawl is up be, in here. Is it supposed to be all black? One second. I got to put you on token layer because I'm right now I'm dropping down the GM layer because I'm okay. a dumbass. Cool. And then hopefully I got lighting set up. Layer, token. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm seeing some stuff. Okay. Layer, token. Wow. Cool, man. Yeah. Let me bring the jackal down here. So I said it was attacking helmet, right? Yep. Yep. So put him down here. So Grolner's unyielding protection brings my AC up to 20. Okay. All right. So it does not bite you. And let me drop the other ones in here. They're along the perimeter. And if you haven't seen it yet, roll initiative. I was going to shoot Splug. It's a good thing your name tag's on you, Splug. Huh. <laughs> yeah. That's the Splug to you, mister, or miss. Everybody in? It's like I'm still missing one. I want to see four names. I don't see Splug on the uh, turn order. 
Didn't click his token. Didn't click anything. Oh. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> nice plug. Roll initiative. There you go. Dang. Why sp look all the way down at the bottom? Doesn't sort. <laughs> okay, everybody in? Yep. So we're descending. Okay, Splug, you're up first. What do you have to do in this situation? I'm going to do a shift click, so don't move. And I move that. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. What'd you say you're going to do? Uh, I'm going to... This guy here is attacking Helmet. Correct? Yep, that's correct. So I'm going to uh, swing the flail overhand in a aggressive, aggressive manner. Watunk, unfortunately to you, but... Yeah, I'll take this one. Go and switch off a of, off of GM roll, but I'll take that one. And it's a crit because it's a 19. Well, in that case, you better re-roll it. <laughs> uh, no, it's not. It's a 17. I see. Oh, crap. I was, I was read that wrong. I tried. Uh, but He's then uh, it's, still, it's still 14. So I'm going to do that. Okay, that one doesn't count. I told you to take it off uh, GM roll. I, I did hit the button. I guess I didn't hit it hard enough. There we go. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to use my immediately hit a creature with a melee attack. My bonus action, I'm going to do this with the old hammering horns. So, must be five feet, da, 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 unless it exceeds on a strength saving throw of a DC of eight plus your proficiency plus your strength modifier. So five plus eight plus three, so 16. He goes 10 feet that way. And goes... Strength save. What's the damage it does, though? It doesn't do any. It's just, oh. uh, it's just throws him 10 feet. Ah, if he fails a strength save. Sends him okay, 10 feet you. north away from my buddy helmet. Okay. Uh, strength save. Boy, this these jackals, they are so strong, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, what's the DC you said? Probably more it's than that, six, isn't it? 16. 16. Okay. So 10 feet back. So you yeah. want to go back this direction? Yeah, on an angle. Do I get okay. an effective opportunity? Uh, not when someone is forced out of the area. If he moves willingly, then yes. All right. Yeah, and that would be... Uh... Uh, actually, Slug's going to move here and here to get between uh, right here. To draw some fire from the old doggies. Okay. And that's that a little Splugs. yelp. Yeah, that's, that's Slug's action. Okay, helmet. Move right here. Sorry, I should have moved somewhere to give you advantage. I wasn't thinking. Ow! Trying. So is your crit set up right? <laughs> um, uh, nope. Does it matter? So that's 13 plus 12, 25 points. Holy shit. And as you slam into it, it lets out a huge yelp. And then you see it transform. Mm, which one is it? Mm, how many do I have? This one. Kind of grows inside, grows legs, and somehow magically a scimitar appears in his hand. <laughs> okay, anything else on it? Oh, a second hit. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> oh, this is the changes. Helmet's killing all my shit. Just like last session. That's just, uh, that's the natural order of things, right? <laughs> I, I, my turn's over. 
Okay, so this guy's up. The one you hit. Um, he is also going to transform. Since you hit him, he does not like that, Splug. Good. He's going to charge back in your direction. Ah, but he falls in the hole there. On the chair. <laughs> I shall fall on the hole of your head. Uh, Two attacks. One with its bite, one with its scimitar. Uh, it's beguile. What is beguile? We fall in love. <laughs> wow. All right, let's do that. DC 13 wisdom save. Ooh, look at you, smart fella. Uh, all or nothing. All right, so now I'm just going to try to skimitar you. Skimitar, skimitar, skim, skim, skimitar. The 20 for six slashing. Yeah, he hits. Just. Okay. And then he disappears. City. Okay, Gralnar. Gralnar is going to move here and uh, attack. Why are you attacking the poor little defenseless jackal? Well, I thought they were chewing some, chewing some bones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he he. Oh shit! You got to meet it to beat it. Guess what? You hit him. <laughs> Oh, okay, good. <laughs> He's just a poor little jackal. With more than 12 hit points. Yeah. What else, Gonar? Another one? I get, yeah. Oh, the 20. It definitely hits for another 12. <laughs> These little jackals are pretty damn tough. He took both those hits, and he's still whole. Huh. In fact, he's so whole, he grows a little bit. He's barking at you. Okay. But he's standing uh, on his hind legs now. Yeah. Well, let me let me make that into a menacing hit. And uh, I'm going to add the superiority die to the damage roll. Okay. Which is three. Another three. Um, and the target must make a wisdom saving throw on a failed save as it is frightened of you until the end of the next your next turn. Wisdom saving throw? Yeah, I don't know what the DC is, though. Is this from a spell? Is it from an item? This Chances is are a battle, it's more than a battle 10. maneuver. Yeah, battle it's maneuver. Gonna be, it's going to be more than a 10, so he fails. So what's the consequences for failing? Uh, it He is going... It, it's frightened of me until the end of my next turn. Frightened of you. Yeah. Okay. Give him the frightened token status marker. Okay, anything else, Gronar? Nope. Uh, that's it. Okay, Bryn. <laughs> All right. So if Bryn's ravens are green, I don't know how to make them not green. Oh, yeah, that's right, because your ravens died, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll fix it. Okay, they should not be green anymore. Right. So they're going to fly up here. Bryn has good line of sight. Bryn is going to shoot the ones that are right, the one that's right above Gralnar. Blast Ahoy. It's a 27 for 14. 
27 for 14. Let's out a yip, but he's still standing on his hind legs. And a 18 for 12. And he is no longer standing on his back legs. Okay, that's all we got. Okay, these guys are up. Yip, 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 yip. Uh, money mo. Only three of them. All right, so down here at the bottom. Uh, this one, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Shit. Tell me they can go more than that. They're jackals. they got to be able to go more than 30 feet. Come on. Tell me. Nope. 30 feet. Son of a bitch. Tell me they have range weapons. Ooh, I doubt that's going to work, but I'll try it anyway. Uh, looks into your eyes, Bryn. I need you to make me a wisdom save. Okay, whatever it is, you're able to shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. And uh, uh, da, da, da. Okay, these two are going up here. And both of them are at Splug. So first they're going to do a bite. Pull. Oh, I got to fix that crit. Wow. That's eight points on a crit. <laughs> eight points of piercing. Are you scared? Nope. Okay, and then the other one's going to do the same thing, hopefully. Uh, 22 hit. Yeah. Okay, for six piercing. I'm going to roll more time just for the heck of it. Okay. And then they're both going to transform. Do humanoid-looking jackals. And follow up with a second hit. With the scimitar. Don't ask me how they have scimitars when they transform from a jackal to a jackal where it's magic. Scimitar, scimitar. Oh, these scimitar. guys don't have scimitars. These it's guys have something else. Lightsaber. Uh, oh, shit. They both hit you. I forgot about this. Uh, they both get one of these on you. So an extra seven on the first hit. And the 22 hits you as well. So another sneak attack and three. Now, what is their second attack? Oh, wow. These guys suck. They only have one attack. Cool. That makes them super powerful. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That was fun. Okay, uh, that is all of them kinds. Marta. Marta can move down here in front of Bryn and her jackal, and then he'll take two two swipes at the jackal with stone color. Oops, I'm whispering it to you, but that's okay. Uh, I'll take that one, but go ahead and okay. change it next time. All right. And this one has a higher AC than the other ones. So that first one misses. But the second, second one does one, not. Yeah, that's 14 bludgeoning. Let me see if I have any bonus actions that are relevant here. I, I do, in fact. B. I'm going to also uh, throw a thunderous smite on it. Why? Man, you guys are mean to little little doggies. Yeah, so it's an extra five thunder, and also it has to make a strength save or be pushed ten feet away from uh, from me and knocked prone. Damn. And the DC is 15 for spell. Uh, what kind of save? Oh, strength. strength. says right there. Yep. Duh. Yep. Save. Strength. Come on, little doggy. 
Woohoo! <laughs> so ten feet. He's knocked back ten feet, and he's prone. That's out a little yelp, and he's laying on his side. Poor little doggy. That's what it is. A bad doggy. Bad dog. Okay. Is that it for Varda? Uh, yeah, that's it for Varda. Okay, this guy. Which one is he? Well, he's that one up there. Okay. Uh, well, he's got a pretty obvious target right in front of him. Rar, rar, rar. On to Grolnar. Uh, so you have multi attack. Please tell me you have multi attack. Why do my guys suck I so bad? Ryan. Do what? I have multi attack. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, he's first going to look you in the eyes, Grolnar. I need you to make me a wisdom save. You can at least do that in addition to Grolnar? a scimitar attack. Yeah, Grolnar. Okay. Wisdom. You said wisdom saving throw? Correct. Woo! Okay, you're able to shake it off. Then it's going to transform now and just go back to scimitars. Because scimitar is how we roll. Change him to a. Uh, Hybrid form. And we'll do a scimitar attack. Is that hit? What'd I roll? 20? Is okay, that hit you, Gronar? Yeah, on Gronar. It would, but he, he's going to use his sword or his um, uh, unyielding protection. So he's at 21 now. So Okay. So, was that a reaction to use that? It is. Uh, didn't you use your reaction for your maneuver? or is it maneuver? Uh, Battle maneuvers? I don't. Are those reactions? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Just making sure. I don't believe they are. I, I don't. Okay. okay I'll that's look fine. it up, though. Yeah. I'll assume right now it was not. All right. So, okay. that, that misses you. That's his turn, then. Uh, unless he has that same thing the other guy. Let me double check. Mm -hmm. Where did your character sheet go? There it is. Nope. He cannot go disappear. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Cool. Bonus action. Uh, now I need Gronar, Helmet, and Splug to make me a charisma saving throw. As this thing starts to howl. Sorry, that was me, Gronar, and Splug? Uh, yeah, Helmet, Splug, and Gronar. These are all the ones within range of this. Splug, you can add a three to your charisma saving throw. <laughs> okay, I don't see helmets There it is So that's a 16 A Oh does Gronar get your bonus? He does not does he? Do I need it? Uh, no you don't Damn it Shut up <laughs> <laughs> But Splug uh, is not enough So Splug You are frightened No I'm not Oh, no, look at you and the magic, too much magic shit I give you guys. <laughs> that was fun. So glad I wasted that. All right, that's his turn. End of round one. You guys need to strategize? No, I think we're just hacking and slashing and kicking some asses. Everybody yeah, else good? Yeah, I think I'm just going to, we're just going to kill stuff. Okay. Yeah. All right, Splug, you're first. Okay, I'm going to go five and ten. And I'm going to get advantage. So you're going around this side? Yeah, so he gets the attack of opportunity. Go ahead. Okay. He would like to do that. Ah, la, 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 la. He has scimitar, right? Yeah. What? This guy doesn't have scimitar? What do these guys have? Nothing. They tried that uh, 
that sneak attack thing. That's right. That's all I got. That bullshit. So yeah, I guess I so. wow. All I can do is bite you and then yeah. do some magic and, mojo on you, and then get then get hit by a flail. But <laughs> I was kind of thinking of using my mark of Baphomet. The seventeen hit. Does it hit me? No. Okay. Well, how about a nineteen? No. no. Okay. He has, he has advantage on his roll. That's why I said that. Thanks for trying. Okay. You're but welcome. I, why, why does he get advantage? Uh, pack oh, tactics. Okay. Well, he can suck on that. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-six for nine. He does suck on it. Yeah. 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 And then he can suck on this one. He does suck on that one. Yeah, and then I'm feeling like using my action surge, and I'm going to hit him. Hit him again. So you suck on that one. <laughs> <laughs> He's sucking like the teat of his mother. And on that one. Uh, fourteen. Yep, fourteen hits as well. Yeah. Hey, guess yeah, what? Yeah. He's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm still on the move. Still, I show ya. One second. One second. I got one more thing I want to try. Just want to make Good sure. Da, 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 da. That is action surge is not my bonus action, so I'm going to use my uh, the old hammering horns. Hey, and launch him ten feet away if he can't beat a sixteen strength. And I'm sending him this direction. All right, so you're just trying to push him back. Just launching him. Okay, strength save. Like a rag doll. Strength save. You think Look he how takes strong he is. He takes some damage when he lands. Ten oh. feet. Five more, yeah. Ten feet. There you go. Okay. Anything else and for Slug? I think that'll be good. Okay. He's not prone, right? Did he just move back? No, he's not prone. Okay. All right. Helmet. Uh, if, if you didn't hit him, I could have attacked with advantage. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, I felt like I wasn't thinking that way. I'll uh, I'll see if I can finish him off. Yeah. Uh let me check. His AC is twenty nine and a half. Too bad you didn't have advantage. Okay. Yeah, he, he that's enough. <laughs> but you could move here. You can go here. And go. I'll, uh, attack this guy. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. Oh, Just kill everything. 15, there we go. He does not like it, but he's standing. All right, uh, my turn's over. Okay, the invisible guy, or the guy that disappeared. What the hell is he going to do? Because you guys are handing their asses to him. Come on, guy. You got something special in store for him, right? Let's see what you got for him. Uh, come on, dude. You got it. Got it. Something. Something kick ass. Where's your kick ass stuff? Uh, what does this do? I got to read. Because that might be the that might be the ticket right here. Uh, that only affects one creature. Screw that. He needs something that gets everybody. Cast fireball. Oh. What does this do? What does this do? That puts a pointer on the screen. Oh no, that's Don doing it. Um, I like that. I like it a lot. So, do do do. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Where does he want to go? He's gonna pop back into existence right about here. <clears throat> oh, don't choose side, Brian. Just put him on the token layer. Do 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 layer. Token layer. And I need everybody within 30 feet of him to do some kind of a save. Uh, I'm looking it up. Wisdom saving throw. 30 feet of where, Brian? Oh, I can't see what you're... Uh, you don't see him on the map, this guy right here? I think Can pretty much everybody. Oh, sorry. I was on a GM layer. So I was pinging this guy right here. Yeah. Growlnar. 
the Ravens. Saving throw. No, the Ravens are the Ravens are more than thirty feet away. You're measuring above him. You gotta put your cursor on him to measure. Bryn, if you're if you're in the thirty feet, you can add my charisma bonus to your saving throw, which is four plus four. So that gives me a thirteen then. It's wisdom save, right? Okay. Okay. Everybody just call out what your numbers are. 11. 13 for Bryn. Uh, 17 for me. Uh, 21 for Varda. 4 for me. Okay. No one else needs to add any more bonuses for anybody? Wayne, you get um, plus, you get a charisma bonus as well, don't you? I think I do, yes. Yeah. So technically it's 25. I think it's me and anyone within 10 feet of me. Well, you lucked out because the, the DC was 24. No. Oh, man. Glad I squeaked by. <laughs> All right, so Splug and Lix Bryn, your final number is what? 13. 13. All right, and then Gronar, yours is 11. So Gronar and Splug are the only ones that failed. What's that mean? Uh, do, do, do. You must drop what If you fail, you must drop whatever you're holding and become frightened. I'm Unless not you're I'm freaking not. immune to frightened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> while while frightened by this spell, a creature must take the dash action and move away from you by the safest available route on each of its turns, unless there's nowhere to move. So I guess that just applies to uh, Gralnar, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's what he does, and he failed miserably. So what the hell is he going to do now? Uh, Gralnar, where's Gralnar? He's the one that's scared. Okay, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, I only, 30. I only got to move 5, though, right? Oh, you're moving him. Yep. And that's his turn. Gralnar. So I need to drop. Yeah, so basically drop your weapon and run. Okay. Okay, it's the safest location. Yep. Okay. So that would be down here with my friends. <laughs> no, it would be this direction. <laughs> Which, okay. Because you're afraid of this guy. Yeah. So 5, 10, 15, 20. Eh. And this one guy will get an opportunity to attack on you. Yeah. Freaking six. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, that's as far as you're moving or can move? Yes. Okay. All right, Bryn. All right. So this dude who tried to make me a feared, uh, this dude, uh, I don't like him. And uh, he's going to get, he's going to suffer the wrath, the Bryn, Bryn wrath. I just refer to it as BR. Let's get the BR. It's only 20 points of damage on that hit. Shit! <laughs> then you do, do something special when you crit? Um, how bad off you, are you, uh, Plug? I, I could use some. How bad off are you? I know you could uh, use some. I see I'm that down, you're yellow. I'm down 22. Of? Of 58. Not, not quite, quite bloodied, but close. All right. Roll a hit die. Add five. Woo. Thank you. Now, it, did you get us plus three with that, or is it just a hit die plus your thing? It just says hit die plus five is what it says. Hit hit die plus my thing. Okay, so it's eight plus whatever his, her thing is. And then a 26 for 14 more on that asshole. Six for 14 more. Wow. So I just did 34 damage to him. Yep. This guy is pretty tough. Mm -hmm. He's still standing. 20. Really? And I'm going to move to there. Okay. okay, that's good. All right. Uh, these guys, which ones are these? Uh, wow, I got one that's kind of fucked right in the middle of everybody. This guy was down on the ground. So half his movement to stand back up. 
Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh, helmet. Running towards you. He changed his shape as he was coming towards you. Gets into his hybrid form. And this is probably the son of a bitch that only has one attack. Mm -hmm. So he's just going to try to bite you. Because he's awesome like that. I'll roll one more time because he has advantage with pack tactics. Okay, so 24, I'm assuming, hits for five. Is that correct? Helmet? Oh, sorry. Yes. Um, I just I put my headphones down for a sec. Yeah, it hits me for five. Okay. And then a little extra sneak attack damage for 11. All right. Okay. That is him. This guy does not like being flanked by you sons of bitches. So he's just going to move right here. And then... How about you get another one from this guy? So he's going to try to bite you in his hybrid form. 17? Miss. Well, he gets... Uh, yeah, he gets advantage. Pack tactics because you're next to him. 24. Right. So it's like the first damage. Six damage. And he also has sneak attack. So six plus seven, 13. And that one's done. I think the other ones... I had two more of those. The other two are dead. Barda. Okay, I'm going to move to here. Sorry, can't see very well around those posts. Okay, I see where I am. I'm going to flank this guy across from Helmut and whack him with my hammer. I guess the 19. It was with advantage, so I rolled it twice. So it was the 19 for 14 bludgeoning. Okay. He's still standing, but not looking good at all. Well, I'll hit him again then. And this time I'll just actually roll with his advantage. There we go. 20 for another 10. And that is enough. Okay. And I think I still have maybe five ish feet, five to 10 feet. I'm going to move up next to Helmut. Okay. That'll be it. Okay. Is this guy alive? He is. Hmm. Who are they going to go after? Five, ten, fifteen. I think he has a range thing. Let me double check. Oh, shit. I keep forgetting about that. Oh, that would have been nice to know <laughs> beforehand. I'll have to remember that because I can't use it now. Uh, mm. What does this do? Nope, can't use that. Gosh, dang it. Ah. These guys don't have enough options. But so. Ah, uh, screw it. Run up and bite. Who's he going to bite? Going to run up and bite. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Helmet. Oh, cool. Glad I rolled that because he has advantage because you're now flanked. So seven or 11. That, that, that worked out awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think it did, Brian. I think that you are confused. Awesome for you guys. Oh, See, I'm, oh, okay. I'm, I'm on your team. <laughs> uh, come on. What else do you got for bonus action? Please, something. Well, he does have that. Uh, but... well, yeah, that was the other guy that did this. So he has that thing as well. So everyone within 30 feet of him, give me a charisma save. So I'm 30 feet of this guy. Holy shit. What the fuck is that, Helmet? <laughs> Don't forget to add, you get to, everybody within 10 feet of me gets to add four. So that would be Helmut and Blug. Yeah, I'm a mute. Helmut's over here reciting, I don't know, Shakespeare. So is a 37 <laughs> enough for Helmut to save from that? 
<laughs> Let me double check. Should be. Should be enough. Holy shit. It's uh, 16 for Varda. Note to self, don't even bother with Charisma Saves versus Helmet. <laughs> yeah, my Christmas right. plus 11. Holy shit. How much, how much took you to Pallytown? Okay, just three of you within 30 feet of that one? Yeah. Okay, all right. So Wait, is it? Got, I thought it was a Wisdom Save. It's a Charisma. Oh, Charisma, my bad. So mine's, yeah, 22, I guess. With the still, bonus for uh, our uh, they gonna take your first roll or just modify the the okay that's fine it's sixteen that well I mean it's seventeen then well it's, my wisdom's only plus six and my Christmas plus eleven so so it's an extra five on top of the twelve which makes right. it seventeen right yeah and then so another four it's another four for uh, the R of protection right so that's Does Splug have anything extra he has uh, four uh, also for R of protection so okay, that's not immune. enough Splug has everything <laughs> and immune to the frightened condition. Why do I even have you roll? Why? Yeah, really? I asked. <laughs> uh, I guess because I was optimistic. Hey, that was fun. All right, guys, go kill my guys. End of round two. You need to strategize? No. <clears throat> okay, go kill my guys. Splug. Right. Five, 10, 15. Oh, I can't get past there. Will you let me into there? Oh, yeah. And I'm going to hit him with advantage. With the flail. 24. Let me see. Yeah, that hits him. He does not like it. Oh, well, he's he's starting he like to cry to mommy. Does he like that one? He is no longer crying. All right. 5, 10, 15, 20. I'm going to go... 2530 back up to here. And that would be Splugs. Okay, helmet. All right. I know we're approaching four hours, guys. We're going to wrap it up as soon as this, this encounter is over. Yeah. Helmet's going to wipe this one out with like two punches. Well, maybe not. Okay. Oh, shit. Sorry, Helmet. I didn't see your attack. Uh, Seventeen is good enough. Thirteen, and the second one is sixteen. He takes both of them like a champ. He's still standing, but he is definitely bloodied. All right, I'm done. Okay, do I have this guy left? Is he alive? He's alive. Hey, I tell ya. He does not like you guys picking on his fellows, on his fellow jackals. All they wanted was a bone. All they wanted was a bone to eat. You guys came up and fucked up their. Sunday afternoon brunch. Why is everybody always picking on me? Budge. Mm. I don't think any of this shit's going to work on Helmet. Uh, Helmet, give me a wisdom saving throw. I guess wisdom is like your your second charisma. <laughs> well, wisdom is, um, plus ten. Okay, all right. So he's just gonna run up to you and try to stab you in the back with a scimitar. Uh, will he get flanking? He will. Five, ten, fifteen. And he'll at least get to roll with advantage. Thank God, advantage. Yeah, that that came in handy. <laughs> All right. I'm having fun, guys. Bryn. I'm going to shoot something. Kill it. I prefer to shoot uh, uh, somebody who's green. <laughs> oh, I'm going to come down. Hey, Helmet. Hey. So the, this, the, the Ravens are like, hey, Helmet, how you doing? <laughs> You're looking a little green there. You all right? You need to vomit? You all right? I've taken a few hits. I'm good, though. You doing okay? No, I wasn't talking about your health. I was looking at your greenness. Give him some Pepto. And then he hits the uh, little dude right below helmet. Uh, 25 for 9. 
Okay. He takes it. He's still standing. And that's a crit for 16. And that is enough. I think somebody gets something special out of that, don't they? Was that enough to kill it? Yeah, he's down. Okay, he doesn't look down. That's why I'm asking. Okay, helmet, give me a, give me a hit die and add five for your healing. Let's see if that'll work on your oh, greenness. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> One plus five. <sighs> good thing I gave you. Good thing Six. I gave you five. Six. <laughs> Is it kicking the head? No, no, it's not. Thank you. It's the equivalent of it. Like the spot here where he's bleeding, it was like a bright red. I mean, it wasn't green at all. Then when you heal him, it goes back to green again. Yeah. Okay. Anything else out of Bryn? Nope, that's it. Okay. How did I get out of order? Did I skip you, Gronar? I think you may have. Okay, Gronar, go. I'm sorry. Um, is that, uh, the one that frightened me still alive? Uh, it was the one that was over here. So yes, that's the one that's right here. Okay. And, uh, what is that? A wisdom check? Uh, let me double check. I'm pretty sure. Go ahead and roll it while I look it up. Pretty sure it's wisdom. Mm. And it was probably at the end of at my turn, yeah, right? it's wisdom. Okay. So got a 16 there. Is yep, it, that's enough. You shake out of it. it. Okay. So can I go on my turn or what? Uh, let do me I, go back and read it. If it let me read if okay. it you read, do the save at the end of your turn or not. It does not say. So I will say it's at the end of your turn. Okay. All right. Then I'll just stay here. All right. You know what? Fuck it. It's at the start of your turn. Go ahead and take your turn. Okay. Because uh, I'm not going to win this. <laughs> all right. So I assume I can make it through these columns. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to worry about it. It's fine. Okay. It's got to really wiggle your ass as you go through. <laughs> you can't all give right. me a perception roll. With disadvantage as you run through there, Gronar. Okay. Perception with disadvantage. I think there's still an invisible dude. Hey. Yeah, good enough. Out in the open, so you know what? Good to know. <laughs> All right. There's still an invisible dude. Yeah, I got something for him too, but uh in the in the meantime. I shouldn't have been at advantage. 17 is still good enough to hit. Or 16. He's still alive. Holy shit, guys. 27 for 12. He takes it like a champ. He's not looking good at all, but he is still standing. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's just do the action surge and we'll just take him out. Oh, yeah, I swag did I can surge a while ago. 21 hits for 15, and that is enough. All right. Are there any bad guys left, or are they all dead now? Well, I think there's one still. Uh, did we get hit. the invisible dude? Uh, the guy that disappeared reappeared back in here a while ago. That's and then he, uh, then he went, then he went right. in here somewhere and got killed. That's so, yeah, right. I, think, I think that's yeah. it. I think we're out of, we're out of combat. Wow. Right on the four hour mark. All right. So let me do this to wrap it up. As you guys are, I guess, licking your wounds, maybe licking the jackal's wound, maybe eating the jackal. I don't know what Splug's doing. Um, you guys hear a very faint moan uh, coming from underneath the rubble over here. And that's where we're going to end tonight's session. Ooh. Holy shit, guys, four hours. And it took us three and a half to get to an encounter. <laughs> <laughs> That's because we have become more sophisticated players. 
And God but I, murder hobos. I had no problem with that. I just, I just want to make sure that you guys are still having fun oh. with that. Yeah, I did. No oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to check off, guys. It's pretty late for me, so. All right, man. Yeah, have a good night, man. Good night, Wayne. All right, take care. Good right, game any, tonight. Any questions, comments, complaints about tonight? No, that was fun. Yeah, okay. I enjoyed that, too. Yeah, me too.